back. You're about to witness the best players in the world competing in the most unlikely of places. You're watching Joma's Pro, The Putting Game. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Joma's Pro Putting Game. I'm Jeremy Colling, joined by my co-host, Brian Earhart, and we are in Stockton, California at CQB Law Enforcement Training Facility in Airsoft Arena. Today we're playing 21. That's two putts per station. If you make one putt, that's worth one point. If you make both putts, that's worth three points. First player to 21 is gonna be the winner of $1,000. All right, first station, we're gonna go with Simon Lazat, lowest PDJ number, as we always do here. And he is going for the blackout putt. Problem with the window is there's a pillow blocking any <laughs> access to the basket. Well, Simon's actually saying that you get three shots. The first shot is a throw at the window or to knock out the pillow. So that way you can see the basket. And if you miss with that throw, then you're gonna have to go over the wall into the basket. But obviously there's an advantage. If you can knock that pillow out, you can go through the window. Well, I hope he uh, printed out instructions for the rest of the players' turn. <laughs> this is the most involved putt we ever had to start the tournament. Simon, you're clear to putt. So he's very, he made it very specific. You have to throw this first one. Oh, and he knocks it out. So he's got the advantage being able to go straight at it. Mm. Okay, he definitely didn't make it. Not a great sound there, Jerm. No, but he moves a little bit. Spin and out. fell out! No way! Oh, after all of that, he has to go and check and spin and out. Indeed, it I don't fell know how out. true the putt was, but. So he did his job, he knocked the pillow out. I think he's testing the frisbee skills of these players, making them throw the first <laughs> like shot. It. Don't touch the window frame because it's a bunch of splinters. Oh, because oh, no. yeah. someone's got a splinter on the first station. <sighs> there Hard are expected to be some casualties. Oh, oh no! You gotta go over blind. I think that's. Good thing I'm you know where the right. basket is, though. He, he's peeking through the crack yeah, at the side of the pillow. <laughs> we need a bigger pillow to block the crack. Push putt. Corey did not knock out the pillow, so he has to go over the wall. Completely blind putt, all depth perception. All right. That looks good, though. Oh, no really metal hits, so we are on to the next. No made putts yet. Calvin Heinberg up next. All right. No, you're going forehand. No. Corey Ellis. Yeah, we're allowed to do that, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm just saying no for your sake. Oh, oh and he cool. knocks it out. I don't think I, I think I'm still going up and over. Is he still going over? Yeah, I think so. I think it suits wow. my putt better. Yeah, and, and he's still going over the top. I, I, I expected him to do that. With his putting style, that was just a, a no. visual <laughs> thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Oh, Second make your mind one. up. <laughs> Go through the window. Hello? Oh. It's what I can't help myself from doing. It. I know I have to remain uh, unbiased here as a as a host of the show, but I still find it funny. Oh, uh, he's running oh, he's up! Doing up? Run up! Oh, oh my he's God! Up. Didn't help. <laughs> really tackling my putter. That disc is done. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> he barred one of Calvin's putters and almost just <laughs> took it out of commission. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I don't think I, it can handle much more of that. Now he's going over the wall. He couldn't knock the pillow out first try. <laughs> no idea. This funny. is just an absolutely brutal station. I am so confused. Oh, I like it. New York style. Oh, Lord. Look, knock that, that pillow out and is see it is. Oh, no. the window. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Don't breathe it. Oh, <laughs> With the blind oh, putt. Wow. Last to go, and he's going to go ahead and give himself a point. First one on the board. And don't forget, we are in a race to 11 to get that $100 speed bounce. It's very rare that your lie ends up directly upwind or downwind from the basket, so it's a good idea to know how your disc is going to react in a crosswind. Most people would expect a crosswind to move their disc to the side, but often the lift or drop that comes from a crosswind can be more dramatic. Because of the natural hyzer most people putt with, the wind can get underneath the disc and lift it, or hit the top and knock it down. The only way to know how a crosswind is going to affect your putt is to practice in the wind. When practicing, it can be helpful to pay attention to how far your putt strays from your aiming point so you can adjust it in different winds. The more hyzer angle on your putt, the more you'll have to adjust your aim point. Usually a faster and more direct putt will be affected less by the wind. That is why some players will switch from a push putt to more of a spin putt when the wind picks up. 
All right, we're up for station number two. Corey Ellis is standing on top of the 19... 79. It's actually a 2017. I was told in the lobby it's a 2017 Chevy. We're not sure what type of Chevy it is. He's standing on top of it. He's about to make about a 70 foot putt. Germ, tell him. <laughs> Corey, you're clear to putts. You know, for a 2017, Germ, it's just it's completely not just made. It's not doing well. <laughs> Chevy Classica. You know, <laughs> in the comments down below, folks, write what your first car experience was. Oh, oh Corey, right maybe. off the bat! Looked great, but just off the cage low. Good bid. Right this is a pole. very ambitious second station. These guys are trying to go for the highlight putt. I like it. That's in. That looks so that good! That was gorgeous! Corey, dead center, stand and deliver. Circle one and circle two, number one on the Disc Golf Pro Tour last season. We've got putting royalty here with us today. Oh, Calvin with a nice stomp on the back of that hood. <laughs> oh, you know God, who else stomped on that hood? Blake Griffin <laughs> in the 2015 dunk contest. <laughs> I believe that was a Kia term. No, I'm pretty sure it was a 1979 Kia Classica. Club Chevy Kia Classica. Oh boy. Joel Freeman up next. See if he can add a point to his total. He's got that oh my. looking oh. good, and it squeezes into the nice. right side. Beautiful. For three points. For three. For three. Oh. For three. Got Let's it. go. Oh. 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 Thought that was that it. That would have been huge. <laughs> this is a, about a 70-foot uphill yeah. standing putt. On, on very uneven ground. Makes you wonder what your standing putt range is. Oh, no. Just off to the left oh, side. No. Yeah, no kidding. Simon going quick and thing. coming up short left, not Ooh. making the adjustment. So we have Corey and Joel both making putts. That brings Joel's total to two and Corey at one. Calvin and Simon are still at zero. All right, Calvin Heimberg up next. He's going for what he's calling the neighbor's window putt. He's going across the way from one elevated platform into another through the window. About 49, 50 feet or so. Calvin, you're clear to putt. Sick. This is pretty interesting. Man. This right. is definitely unlike any other putting. I'm surprised got. Calvin chooses a putt that he can't make. Hey, <laughs> hey. It looks cool, though. It does look cool. It looks really cool. He just wants it to get through the Okay, lane. all right, I can make this putt. I can make this putt. This is a tight window to hit. You have to go through another window. I think you're right. Oh, oh off the oh, frame, oh, almost oh. drops in the basket left side. But he still wakes up the neighbor's annoying dog, and he, you can hear him barking now, and that is the intent of the putt in the first place. Joel also this is so awkward. awkward. Yeah, so well. Next. <laughs> Joel, you gotta make do. He said this was an awkward putt, and I agree. I think that this is a tough one for. Is this yeah, slippery? Weird. You can't like really put your foot fall here. down the stairs. He's in the, the walls in the way. What's up? Oh, oh that was that was bottom awesome. left of the frame. Oh, no, I... <laughs> it just has it out lower. I can't quite see what he's doing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> this is a tricky station. We haven't even had one really close yet. And this... they're all pretty tall. Yeah, these. This might be the tallest card. This one might be, uh, average height might be at an all-time high. So Simon back to the top of the order here. Aim at the orange dot. Yeah. He just said that. I don't know why. I can't believe I didn't hit that window. And another one coming up short. The neighbor is quite safe right now. Yeah, they're laying in their hammock in the living room, Jerm. <laughs> As one does. Corey's gonna show us. Oh, off oh, the band and off the lamppost. That has broken some hardware inside noisy neighbor Ned's house. Oh, he, oh, he sings the last one! one. Uh, yeah. Let's go! Corey Ellis making his second. That brings his total to two points, tying him up with Joel. And the neighbor? Spooked. Needs a, spooked and needs to mind his own business. <laughs> We've got Joel Freeman here with the putt that he's calling the window of opportunity. You see there's a small window that they have to get their putter through and then the rest is just opportunity. Is the size of the window frame a bit of a metaphor, Germ? I believe it is. Joel, you're clear to putt. <laughs> that was nice, well done. This is actually kind of a difficult putt. It's, first off, it's a small window, but once you get the putter through it, there's actually these barrels in it. It's kind of in the way, so mm -hmm. you're gonna have to avoid those and just make yourself a nice little 37-foot putt uh, right off the bat, yeah, Joel does. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. You know, and we're not even talking about it yet, but there's a menacing cutout of a the statue of three. Three, three pointer. Wow. Yes. Nice well, they Thank can't you. see that from the real way. They turn sideways piece of cardboard, but if you are, you are very right. That is a very scary Statue of Liberty. It's freaking me out. Yeah, it's a zombie Statue of Liberty. I don't like it one bit. <laughs> Made it through the window. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, yeah, you got, no, you jinxed That's him. a tough oh, miss God. for Simon. Oh, you know, my God. this putt's Sorry, framed up perfectly for him. I'm gonna have to say that was the worst putt of the day, Jeremy. Oh, that's embarrassingly bad. <laughs> My biggest fear. Oh, oh and another one think, goes in the basket. I don't think Corey's given up yet. He's got to make three, and if he does, he'll be tied with Joel. Oh, just an inch low for making the second three of the day. And Calvin up next. He's got to get on the board here. I think they're playing against Calvin because Calvin's put has such trajectory to it. They're yeah. picking a lot of little floaters. We have Joel taking a commanding lead now at five points. Corey at three points. Simon and Calvin are still at goose eggs. All right, we're back to the top of the order here. We've got Simon Lazat. He's gotten back onto the school bus. This is the simplest putt we've had yet, but it's actually pretty narrow. It's a short 35 foot putt through the seats, and you could probably even make the putt off the ground. Simon, you're clear to putt. Right there. See if he goes for the slide, nothing. Oh, no! He goes no. all air and catches the back seat where all the cool kids sit. Yeah, I think. And he hit another cool kid's no. seat back. That's not good for Simon. That's going to be zero points. I think one of the big challenges of this shot is having to uh, traverse the memories of getting wedgies on the bus. <laughs> so we'll see who truly had the worst time on the school bus. Did you guys play thumps? Uh, you flicked the knuckles? No, I got wedgies. Oh, gosh. And we did the pencil break. Yeah. Classic. Oh, and Corey doesn't have any. Anything but bad memories about school buses. You can make it through the bus. What? We can't what even make it through? I put I'm, our I'm so close, too. I'm becoming very curious. The last, the last seat is, oh, like, right my. there. This is hard. Those darn kids. Yeah, it's, it's almost Golly. perfectly flat. This is, way, this is way harder than you think. There's no way you miss. There's just no way you miss. Oh, there's a breeze. Oh. Calvin! Oh, <laughs> drills the camera person. <laughs> Right in the gut. No! <laughs> off the, off the top of that. I, I really, I had high hopes for Calvin, but unfortunately he has flunked the test. Yeah. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, this is pretty narrow. I'm stuck at zero. If we were devil's partners right now, we'd still be at zero. <laughs> <laughs> I like can't Snake even bottom. swing my arm in here. This is like way harder than yeah, I expected. Yeah, it's really awkward. And there's Rafe so and Damon easy. seat in that back left. <sighs> Just because Joel's wearing strawberry shirts doesn't mean that he can't be the new school bully. And he's gone up to six points. Can he make it eight? Oh my word, he does. The only person to get through cleanly, and he makes both. And that right there is the beginning of a blowout. Two players still with zero, Simon and Calvin. Joel Freeman bursting on the scene last two stations with two mates. Corey Ellis up next. And he's going for the clubhouse, but this is a uh, this is like a, a human birdhouse shaped sized uh, thing, which I don't know what would be used for. 50 feet through another window. This is a tricky thing just for the release alone. But once you get past that release point, accuracy is going to be difficult as well. Corey, you're clear to putt. A bit of a plywood situation here. Corey Ellis's childhood dream finally came true. He has his own clubhouse. There's already a no girls allowed sign. The door and it goes in the basket, Germ. Putts are allowed though, and that one makes its way through and in. Corey is up to the top and through the window. Gotta make he gets it a seven. Oh, he does! Oh, oh and this! Out. Spit out. No! Is it in? No. I heard oh, it could spit out. I rule that that counts. Controversial ruling. <laughs> I rule that that, stay, that counts. No. You're overruled. And I retroactively say that Simon's putt on, on the first station counts. No, that's a, a bit that, authoritarian from you, Jeremy. Yeah. I like it. Step up. Every once in a while, you gotta <laughs> say what you gotta say. No, that putt unfortunately did fall out, so Corey will just stay at four. No! Calvin I'm off of is team zero now, on buddy. The <laughs> board. Sunk that Not one. Not skunk. <laughs> 
Can he get the three? Oh, just off the top. He has one that point looks so germ. good. That looks so good. He will cherish that single point of his for years to come. Now Joel can be the lucky recipient of this here $100 bill if he were to make both of these putts and be the first player to get to 11 points. Or you can be like that. Corey and hit the center and it just say And that's not going to be the case here. I'll put this back in my pocket. I'm just glad I'm on the board finally. And off the mark with both attempts. Near. I'll join you with Come one on. point. Let's join team one. Let's go. Let's After go. eyeing this putt, he Let's said, go. this is easy. Right there. Not it's right easy. there. So we'll see. Oh! Just clean as ever. One. Well, now you have to miss He was right. I'm gonna go to team or you can three. just make it and spit out. <laughs> oh! <laughs> But I'm happy with one. We and have so happy. all four players on the board now. Simon, Calvin at one point. But it's a little bit more of a ball game here. I like that. Good competition. All right, Calvin Heimberg, he's decided to go with the strengths. He's moving up to a shot that we're going to call the hoop dreams. This is going to be the shortest putt ever from placement, from mini to basket. We're looking about four feet. But we're going uphill about 10. And you know the style. Calvin likes to do those little basketball putts. That's what we gotta do. Foot has to be against the mini. Calvin, you're clear to putt. You know, Jerm, play to win is what I say. Absolutely. And play to win. From his perspective, you can't even see the basket. He's just kind of. Nope. Right. You missed right. About yeah. Foot left. No, it's don't like a to three him. foot putt, not including the vertical. Like the vertical. Nope. Air right. balls both left, and that actually is a huge advantage no. to the guys he. Who aren't familiar with this putt, maybe as These guys are like six it's and right a half there. You're feet. Team one, tall. baby. I know. Yeah, Joel, Joel, how tall are you? Well, well, your feet got to be on the mini. Both feet, both, both feet on the mini, six, boy. Six one and a half. Six one and a half, and he is I'm the, the shortest, shortest, I'm the shortest over here trying to get advantages. Oh, good. That, that was, was a lot of power. Huh? You missed low. <laughs> Don't listen to them. <laughs> so close, just a little higher. <laughs> Oh, off the off top. Off the top. You just have to metal. squeeze it barely possible? over. Yeah, just barely. Very difficult. I've never seen so many consecutive misses from four feet. Yeah, I mean, play around this golf, uh, round of disc golf with me, German, you'll find out. How do you even hit that window? No, you got it, Simon. Just barely squeak it over the top and you're, and you're in. And throw it as soft as you can. Oh! oh. I was close. Playing the bank Cage. shot. Like you know, any true bank basketball shot. player. Little hey, the bank is not open. Nick Cage. It's a little lower. I think that might be might have been. I think, I think that's it. Run up the stairs and find out, Simon. That sounded I, I think that's it. Like I heard a little chain tickle. I think you snuck in left side. It sounded I like bottom of the cave. It's in. It's oh! in! One point for Simon. He's Simon now... made a four foot putt, everyone. Congratulations. <laughs> so Simon is now up to two. He's now up to two. Corey is looking to go Dirk Nowitzki on this one. We gotta turn the hat backwards. He's more of a Peja Stoyakovich type to me. Ooh, it's a higher release point. Because he's good from deep. Oh! That definitely did not go in. You almost banked it in too. It was just like Simon's first. Oh! Oh, oh no! Oh, you caught it! Yeah, get again. the rebound! Get the rebound! Shoot it! Oh! oh. <laughs> in true Dennis Rodman fashion, he misses two shots, grabs the rebound, and shoots and again. And misses a third! Misses a third! <laughs> All done, Simon gets one point. Jerm, this is outrageous. Let's take our houseplant somewhere else. All right, come on, Housey. <laughs> Okay, we have Joel Freeman here, bottom of the order. He is going for the, one of my favorite names ever. Through the window, through the wall. Through four windows, Brian, he is gonna have to navigate this putt. Yeah, Joel, you're clear one. to putt. Right? I'm the last one to putt, <clears throat> because I picked the last stage. He's kind okay. of fallen a little cold lately. Stuck at eight points still, he needs three more points. Oh, and now he's oh, changing it already. Whoa, whoa he's changing it up. Back a couple of Before inches. the first Oh yeah, you wish you could do that in the tournament, <laughs> don't you? Are jump putting this too? Is What's happening? It is reverse cheating, because it's not quite cheating. <gasps> that looked so good that and was he one, one inch high. really liked it. One right, inch high, right he on says. Right online, one inch high. That looked low. I don't know, it looked right so he's to gonna me. He's going to squat down He air bounced it. That's how it was going up. That only makes it through two windows before it hits, or maybe doesn't even make it through the yeah. we, we really just have no clue what's happening. Yeah, we have no just guessing. Wait, why oh, is it off so center? I don't get that it. That was a lot. Because you're right-handed. 
Oh, it was cheating after all. He switched the lie of everybody. Yeah, that's right. They all agreed to a certain putt. Simon! That sounded clean for a long time. Uh, wow. Yeah, I think he was left. Really One inch good. higher and it's in. Oh, oh okay. really? You hit the right bottom on the line. Just... This is, this is definitely an advantage. Oh, so oh classic. my god. This is the quintessential Simon Lazat style putt. I'm disappointed to see neither one of those. Connect. I just can't wait to make both of these. <laughs> 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 Through the first window. <laughs> I can't it's, believe. It's not an easy, not an easy putt. Oh, oh he drills it in! First Did you skip in that in? You skipped it in. Hit the rim and went in. The so the window, window, window and the rim. You skipped yeah, it, it was off. just the rim, I think. It sounded like wood. I don't know. We'll, I mean, we can't see. We can't, can't see. Like There's four walls too. between us and the basket. We'll have to roll back the film. <laughs> not for Corey. Oh, he was about an inch too high. Oh, I don't know. The second. I do not know how that was too high. That looked perfecto. That was beautiful. <laughs> Calvin does not the... Dang it, man. Oh, Calvin, join man. team two. Anti up and down style. I don't think there's a Mando. There is a way to go. No, there is. I'm not allowed to go up and over. Full Mando. I already play. asked. Ooh, he did try Trey. to cheat the system already. Now this is just not. This is not working out. This, All right, too this low. Is a very typical putt for Calvin. Hey. Oh. Hey, he I did bring some backup putters. These All things right. are seeing nice some work, hardcore. Hit it. Oh, he goes up and over and almost makes it. But he is not going with his tournament putters, thank goodness, because these putters have taken a beating. Okay, we're back to the top of the order once again. Simon Lazat. He is going for the danger zone putt. The only reason this is called danger zone is because we are currently in the danger zone. We are directly behind the basket. We're about 10 feet away and they are skipping underneath this beautiful wall right at our faces. <laughs> but we're in a couch. Yeah. And we're between two germs. Simon, you're clear to putt. Wow. Don't flinch. Uh, bet between two ferns. I think, the, I think the joke hit. That was good. Good, thank you. Okay, first putt in the basket. <laughs> No way! Three pointer oh right gosh. off the bat, Simon. No Just how I drew it out. Just you how almost I drew a goose egg the whole day, Thank and you, you finally Thank go you. a blind skip shot, and Simon right off the bat doubles it up. You know, I, I actually am very partial to one of Simon's earlier ideas the oh 20 foot gosh. death putt. Oh, three okay. For three. That's why it's called the danger zone. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> So I'm also the jumpiest guy out here, so it's a terrible spot for me to sit. <laughs> All right, Calvin's up next. Just yeah, the, the death putt idea was a really good idea. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That one I felt safer. That one I felt a little. I loose. knew you were gonna make both of them. How did you know? I didn't. I just know. knew. I don't know. Good try. They were team, team one. Uh, no, he's doing sodarm. Is Joel going forehand? I guess that works. Oh, what is he? Oh no! Oh! Oh no! no! It's right through the center. Oh, no way! Man, I almost went through that window. That was the most. Oh, wow. What a disaster! Was that just like all oh, over the chain? Goodness. Oh, it was it dead center. Straight through, dude. That was messed uh, up. Well, Simon picks know. the station. That's the most trick shot of anyone we've had so far. And off the bat, doubles up. My word, Joel Freeman, though, with the devastating spit out. Corey Ellis, ladies and gentlemen, he is going for the, I missed the bus putt. He's going through the back windows, which have been busted out through multiple rounds of artillery shells. And he's going to the other side of the bus into a room, which makes sense. The room is actually named Gordon's Grotto. Where Gordon is, we don't know. It actually is called Gordon's Grotto. I thought you just made it up off the top of your head. Corey, you're clear to putt. Not that funny, Jeremy. Sit down back there. Sorry. Coral show us. Ooh. What if what he do just double ricocheted that? It hit three things. That was not bad. What if he hit all those things and then went in? That would be amazing. <laughs> that would probably require some... Oh my! I did not miss gone. the bus on that oh, one, buddy. That just Dang. feels like it hurt the putter. Corey's putt may have a hole in it now. Oh the flight my. plate. <sighs> this is awful. Dang. Do you see the basket, oh, Calvin? Yeah, yeah, I can see like the top of the band. You can see the top of it. Yeah. See a bit of oh, it's right there. Easy. I, I don't. Easy I, I can. I only have to go through the bottom one on the first thing, right? Yep. He yeah. has mentioned in preparation for this putt that he did not think he could make it, but I think he can. That was it almost has to be right there. I still oh, feel like oh my thing. Now it's even harder. <laughs> Team one. 
Team one for life. I didn't even watch the putt. I watched his face and it, it did this thing. Okay, here we go, strawberry boy. School bus should have lunch. I remember looking oh at my! Oh. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I hope you don't need those Just putters. shredded the putter. <laughs> we got one more, Corey. Germ, no what have yeah, we done? Right. <laughs> I don't know. Germ, this one's for you. Simon, oh, come Simon. on. Calling the shot. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Goodness. That was going me. Yeah. yeah, that was center. That's for yeah. Brian. That was utterly. Oh, oh he that doesn't like awesome you know, as much, but Simon has shrunk the lead down even more. He is now officially in second place at six points. Leader still at eight is Joel, but he has gone a little cold lately. See if he can get to that 11 quicker. All right, we've got Calvin Heinberg going for the Crow's Nest putt, going from the middle of this arena to the basket on top of the town car. I mean, there's nothing else to say about it. Calvin, you're clear to putt. Sweet. Wow, that was a long way up. Six, six. Yeah, he's got six. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought he was like, okay, that's very tricky. What, is it? No, I guess not. I guess not, that was good. Oh, that's pulled. Bye. Oh. Oh. First one looks so good, I thought we might get a double up. But that putt looked pretty pure, not much in the way. I thought the railing would be more of an issue, but Calvin went right past it, no problem. I think with all the windows they have to putt through, this is gonna be the walk in the park, Jeremy. Multiple people are probably gonna make multiples here. Um, Joel just right there. is one putt yeah, away that from. Yeah, that was very easy. Hundred dollars. Get it. Yeah, hundred dollars! So Joel Freeman, Give first to 11. <laughs> Nice. Oh, yeah. Simon, these guys are connecting like this is the easiest putt oh, they've yeah. ever seen. My word, this Simon. This is easily 60 feet. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. They just needed a warm up. Benjamin Franklin, as I was saying. As I was saying, Benjamin Franklin is Joel Freeman's five times over great nephew's uncle. Oh! Oh! oh and a my camera my. Almost drilled oh. it. That's negative five points. Courtesy warning. And everyone on the board in this station, like it's nothing at all, the crow's nest delivers. Biggest move here though, Simon and Joel both doubling up. They're kind of moving away from the competition right now. All right, we've made it to 11 points now, which means it's time for the new segment, Win Big Gems Benji's. What we're gonna have here is a rapid fire. These guys are gonna be standing about 65 to 70 feet away from the basket, but we have a very special permission to use a smoke grenade here. All right, Joey, like that grenade! Oh, look at this. Go, okay. go point it up. Oh, tell me when, tell me when. There you go. Okay. All right, we're good to go. Go, go, go. go. Now it looks fancy. fancy. Oh no! <laughs> So that looks so cool. No. No! Oh, chaining out! Over the top. Oh, eyes are in! Oh! oh Simon's off in the last oh, one up here, Brian! Oh, he's coming up short! No one wins Big Germs Benches this week, but they're gonna keep going. Might as well, you don't get to putt through a smoke grenade very often. <laughs> Does anyone make it on the second attempt? I don't know. Oh! I thought that might have been it. Oh! Oh, that was cool though. The little smoke. Joel Freeman's going with the fresh produce putt. I believe he is going to be standing inside a refrigerator. Joel, you're clear to putt. Stand in that fridge, buddy. Is he jump putting this? Do we, do we have to do we have to stay in the, the fridge or can I fall out? It depends on what he's at. You're about to find out, Calvin. No, that's not that's not fair. You gotta decide that beforehand. So you can jump out. Yeah. How about one of each? No, you can't do that now. It's too late for that. You had to make those rules before. All right, that's fine. So we have to fall? No, you can do whatever you, you want. He didn't establish rules beforehand. So you can do whatever you want. giving up. That's how I feel like all these <laughs> Stay <people> <laughs> Pretty oh, much, the, the putter down. has, and Killed it has me. sunken like a rock. That was Simon very sad. Not proud. Here. Not proud of that effort. Simon, after being skunked for many of the early part of the uh, the competition, is right back in, and with a double up here, this would be huge. Oh, oh, off the window. It all just, uh, it all just got weird once I 
Did you, you know, one with one? There. I'm happy with one. Nice, nice. How tough is that putt? Pretty easy. We got great man. Not, not that tough. Okay, not that mm. tough. For me, it'd be very difficult. I think for Calvin, it's gonna be tough getting inside the refrigerator. Oh, oh no. Dang. Who put this on a dolly? She's about six inches too high, Calvin says. There it is. Corey is connecting solid no. with his second it's, attempt. It, can you hear with that helmet on, Jeremy? It actually produces higher intensity of noise. It's very interesting. I can hear everything. I can hear what's going on on the other side of this place. I feel like this fits Calvin's putt pretty awful. well. Yeah, I know. Especially with the door <laughs> smacking him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Strawberries just did not leave the fridge on that I one. Awful putt. Right I'm just going to call it as I see it, Jeremy. <laughs> now now it's definitely embarrassing. <laughs> I'm out of here. I, uh, I got to go. <laughs> I got to go. I, uh, That's hilarious. I have prior obligations. <laughs> All right, we're up to the top of the order once again. Simon Lazat is going for the Dinky Dangler. You know, before you get any funny ideas out there, it's called the Dinky Dangler because they're dangling their dainty hands through that dinky little hole in the plywood and trying to chop a little forehand in the basket down the hill. We'll see. The Dinky Dangler, you're clear to putt. <laughs> you really can hear everything through this helmet. Yeah, it's insane. These little, little out. Oh, sorry. I, I, you know, I don't like... Oh! oh you didn't like that. Didn't sorry. like that. Okay, I'll, I'll do it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Money. Simon is in on the second one. One's okay. Please be careful on bringing the arm back through the dinky dangling hole. It's very much not that hard. Yeah, it doesn't seem like... I it. don't know. I just... Corey yeah, that's chops it right in there. there. Good height. That was nice. Get the second you know, to go in. in. He oh. can! Jordan. It's so dinky. The hole is so dinky. Yep. It is the dinkiest. <laughs> <laughs> we brought, oh, dang it. Their arms look just so dangly. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah. dangly. This is that weird. Just smooth. Is. Calvin is, he's not putting his entire arm through. Mm. Very oh. short reach back. Nice. Nice, nice and firm. Yeah. Center. I knew that my first miss was not good. And the second one is in, and Calvin has doubled up for the first time today. That brings him to five points. Five, you know, is there a player on tour who could, uh, uh, achieve the nickname D uh, Dinky Dangler Germ. Calvin could certainly. The Heimlord oh, is. Oh, that's no. brutal. But the Dinky Dangler. Comment down below who you think should have that nickname. Nice adjustment. <laughs> what right a there. shot Easy. from Joel Freeman. All right, so we had a couple of double ups. Wow. Simon brutal. and Calvin both front only connecting on one, but everyone makes some of the Dinkies. And, have a dinky day. And we're back here. Corey Ellis up. He is sitting at 10 points. He is trailing a leader by two. Yeah, it's that point in the game, Germ, where everyone is feeling really tired. <laughs> <laughs> 41 feet, eight inches stands between Corey and the basket, and he has to go through this really tired hole. Corey, you cleared butt. I think we explained the joke yeah, pretty I think well. We yeah, we hammered that one down. Okay, good. Be a hard putt without the freaking Dude, I couldn't even make it out the window from the fridge. What makes you think I can hit it through this tire? <laughs> oh, oh, he gets dang. it through. Like, wow. Is this putt possible, Jeremy? No. No. Okay, well, yeah, just sit back and uh, <laughs> watch the misses fly. Oh, oh! No! No! Did we just see the impossible The happen? entire fabric of my reality has been crumbled. <laughs> Calvin, I'd say it's not impossible for some, but it might be impossible for others. <laughs> All right, Calvin's um, really no. tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Calvin. Oh, man. I'm good. Yeah, turn it on. I need lunch. <laughs> Me too. I need to eat. All that is banana today. Is there a pun with hubcap? Oh, man. I got nothing. Joel has something. He's got one right wow. in the basket. Wow. That's Keep one. On this would be nasty. It would. Oh! Uh, hubba, hubba, he off the bottom it. wheel. Yeah. And that will be one point for Joel, who will keep his lead at two over Corey momentarily, but Simon wants to change that narrative oh! right now. What a putt, that was clean. He can double up, he will take the oh! lead. Uh, Eight. No! <laughs> Was he gonna, was he gonna sure. jump through the wheel? I I, that would be something. There are people oh who can dive through that. Calvin Heinberg trying to escape from prison right now. He is calling this putt the get out of jail free. You're just in the prison. 
and you just gotta get out of prison. It doesn't matter how you do it. You're cleared putt though, Cal. Some, I can't put my head. So I think the security would be better in here. Yeah. How's it, how, how is it going on? How's it going? You know, my head's not in the spot. My hands, easy slip out. You know, no, easy I'm slip out. out with the hands. Yeah. But then how about the head? The head's stuck in there pretty good. Cool. I got a point. Okay, nice putt. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, Calvin making the second putt. It looked like he went basketball style once again, as one does. Yeah, as one does when they are familiar with the sport of basketball. Joel, we'll see how familiar with the sport of basketball he is. I don't know what option he has. Joel, did you play basketball? Absolutely not. It's one of the mm. things in life I'm truly worst at. Um, I, I, I but, feel like I want to see it now. What about a but, water balloon fight? Can you throw a water yeah, this balloon? Yeah, this is a good spot for oh, okay. Calvin's. All right, whatever, here we go. Spy Kaiser through the bars. Yep, YOLO. Ooh. A little 2010 action. If indeed you only live once, then you probably should have made better decisions and not found yourself in prison. Let's go! That's oh my what I'm goodness! About. We've Oops. got a made putt from Joel with a Spy Kaiser. That is a surprising way to get out of jail. Ooh, Simon taking the low method, trying to climb underneath the bars. Never thought that was What does he do? I don't know. I don't know. Nope. I want to go low. What do you think, Joe? Does he have any chance? <laughs> I don't want to say. I'm going to say no. I just went ahead and said no. At least I was consistent. Uh, I, I, I will tell you what I was going to say later, but not <laughs> recorded on camera. <laughs> Corey just freely walked himself into the prison cell. Oh, Calvin cheated. That went over. What do you mean I cheated? You could have done that too. Guilt is a terrible thing, Jerm. It's an over. Okay, over the top, no dice. No. Come on. Oh! Two made Middle. putts, one from our leader, bad. one from the person who's not leading, the opposite side of the leader. Other two, goose eggs. All right, our leader at 14 points, Joel Freeman, he is going for the bus ride putt. The putt has to hit the bus at some point before the back emergency exit door, and you're clear to putt, Joel. This is, yeah, I think that this is a very difficult combination of skill and luck. Hey, that was good. All skill! That was great. And our leader gets up to 15 points now with a nice wall ride. That was nifty. One more point and I think I'm good. Nifty is a great word for that, Jeremy. That is nifty. There oh. it is. Oh my God. That, that, that was such a rob. That was so perfect. How he goes, Heiser. Oh, oh just up the top band, Jerm. Heiser with oh. the nose up allows the disc to ride it's up the It's gotta be surface. Annie. Wall ride putts, frisbees, it was one of my favorite things in the world. I just want to say <laughs> that to the camera, I deserve a point. Corey wow, off right side chains. Right. It's gotta have a little bit of Anheuser angle so it can thing, stay though. tucked mm -hmm. to the bus. Because no. it was Heiser angle, it, it wants to jump after. off. Mm -hmm. See if Calvin can make that adjustment and keep the disc close to the side of the bus. Yeah. There it is. Oh, that was good. Oh, that GoPro. Move. That was good on the GoPro. But a little bit of that. Oh! oh silliness, so silliness. So our leader is the only one to make one, and he goes up to 15 points. Man. He is doing a great job today. Simon Lazat is now inside the Chevy Lumina, and he's going for the Vincent Van Throw. It's a pretty short putt, about 35, 40 feet, but probably the lowest ceiling you could possibly have. Inside a van. Head touching the ceiling. Simon, you're clear to putt. This reminds me of many afternoons on my way to soccer matches, and Nice just pod. Simon's just reminded of greatness. Reminds me of going to soccer practice in a van very similar to the one that they're putting in right now. The difference between this van and the van that I was going to soccer practice is, I think this van actually might work. <laughs> that was not necessarily a guarantee in my childhood. Corey Ellis up next. Oh, and he is up and in. And yeah, both sorry. are in. Did I make it too easy? Did I make it too easy? No, 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 no. I'll show you why. Calvin's like, I'll show you if you made it too easy. Calvin might want to throw an eagle on this one. <laughs> Honestly. A Chevy Eagle. 
Nice. There you go, Simon. <laughs> into the shins of one go. of our camera guys. Making is. the second one, Pretty putting good. the pizza in the oven, bringing him up to seven points. Found one. I'm just happy you all are making two. That means we're closer to lunch. If Joel makes both, then we're real close to lunch. Yeah. If he doubles this one up, it'll get him to 18, meaning the next station, he could win the $1,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. Second oh. is high, so Simon is now oh. only one back of the lead, and we have some interesting drama steering up here. All right, Corey is currently sitting at 14, Simon 15, our leader at 16. We got about an eight inch slot leading up to the basket, and they're sitting right in the middle of the beautiful Chevy Lumina pristine condition. Corey, you're, you're clear, clear to putt. putt. Ooh, that was so good. Oh gosh, the airsoft pellets. Literally 14 billion airsoft pellets inside this facility. It is, they're everywhere. And there's only more each time we uh, come into this facility. Oh, off the top of both. That was a huge oh. opportunity for oh, Corey God. to set the stage. Makes me wonder if this is possible, Jeremy. I don't think that it's possible to make a 23-foot putt through a gap this big. Is that why we're commentating? Yeah. There you go, buddy. <laughs> this might not be possible for oh, Calvin because wow. he's barely able to fit inside the Chevy. That'll do. Oh my God. They're hard to grab from a disc. You gotta... Oh my God, I hit the bar. I hit the... That's... What happened? That's horrible. I literally hit the... <laughs> yeah, the engineers back in the day knew that the shape of an egg was the most aerodynamic shape for a minivan possible. This is, uh, this is, does not look easy. Ow! He's still getting comfortable. It's okay, I have one in my pockets. It's for Joel here. Huge. Oh, we haven't even seen a putt oh. enter <laughs> the realm yeah, of the bunker. I think I got this. Am I clear? You're clear to putt still. And yeah, I think you have a good case for him being the dinky dangler. I mean, when I see somebody and I think, does this person resonate with dinky and dangling? Oh, he, makes he makes it! He makes it. Oh, oh, what an and we incredible have putt! A tie at the top now. Simon Lazat at 16. Joel Freeman at 16. Calvin Heinberg's calling this putt the lunchtime putt. I think he's sending a clear message. He's ready for food. He is ready to get last place and just get out of here. You're clear to putt if you know what you're doing. I don't. We're gonna I figure don't. this one out. This is actually pretty simple. This is a, a little, a, oh, he's going Tommy Hawkins. He's going to Tommy Hawkins. Tommy putt. Oh, and he Tommy almost. Hawkins off the top effort. left. But unfortunately, Oh, no! Oh, wow! So Go good. in! Wow. That was very impressive. All right. Oh, is Calvin on empty? Effort. Is he running Are on here? fumes right now? Is that actually the putt? It, it shapes up pretty like, well. I'm going to here. Yeah, yeah you can definitely. Yeah, exactly. Oh! Oh! My God. Oh, oh Thomas, Thomas Hawkins <clears throat> also off the top. Can my right foot be in the corner? Yeah, whatever, whatever foot you want in the corner, you just have to be in the corner. One foot in the corner, that's it. He's kind of like a guy that does it all. Like, you know he's done trick shots with Thomas yeah, Hopkins before. I just, I'm not as comfortable with yeah. that right. Oh, oh money. Uh -oh, what's that? New leader. Yeah, this yeah, I just, one seems pretty simple for this boy. Oh. Okay, okay. Let's, let's have a new leader. That was very good. Cool. You yeah, would. Just put make, mine out a little wide. You would. Come on, give a chance. That was good there, you got one. Corey doubles up here. He is also tied with Simon. Double up here would be unbelievable. Well, How do you chain out left side through that tiny window? I don't understand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh! Once again, one putt was made, and once again, that player was Simon. This one's called the cellar door putt. Oh, my gosh. A beautiful phrase for a beautiful putt made by a beautiful man. Go ahead. Tom. Joel, you're clear to putt. We're back in the bird's nest. We're going through the door, the cellar door, if you will. This man is now trailing. 16 points to 17 for Simon. Uh -huh. That one sounded yeah. good. Yeah, beautiful. Pretty good. Beautiful. Really nice. Very beautiful. Oh, he's focused. It's low, it's high, it's in. He made both? Yep. 19 yeah, points. Right. Uh, 19. You're 19? Yep. Wow. Uh, 
You wow. You really gassed him up on that uh, intro, yeah, huh, Jeremy? Yeah, he kind of just killed it. This is huge for Simon. If he Very makes big. both of these, it puts him into a one-putt decision. Off the top, now he can get to 18 points, which is good because that's still within. Oh boy, and now that is huge right oh there. Oh my gosh, oh, look at the rage. The <laughs> look at the rage in Simon. He's, I quickly had to build my inner animal. He's so mad right now. <laughs> this is a huge advantage right now for Joel that because a double so up bad. ends it. No player is gonna have an opportunity. It's okay, it's because right. we haven't really putted in a while, you know? That's true. Uh-oh. A made putt for Corey is good, but... You never know, boys. It's taken us three and a half hours is to get this Calvin's far. Calvin's still here? Calvin's still here. Oh, we, there he is. We forced him back. He had his keys in hand. He walked out. We turned him, told him he had to turn around. Oh, there's one. Team and 10. look, he's delivered. No nope. little, little go Pizza process. delivery, one for two. Not good that's enough. That's unacceptable in Domino's world, but here in putting land, that's okay. No lunch for Calvin. Moving on. Simon Lazat is in a desperate time right here, folks. He is at 17 points. If he doubles up, he gets the 20, which means that that would not be enough if Joel were able to double up. Simon. You're, you're clear, clear to, to putt. putt. Over both sets of barbed wire. This is a very short putt, but a very up and down, lofty. Oh no! Wow. Rude. Off the GoPro. Okay. Ooh, nice. Okay, so now That's he's good. at 18. That's good. He needed a second one. putt. That still puts you in contention. That yeah. puts me to 18. Yeah, exactly. So put I you one stage reach. I could. I could. I could. How, do, how does that? Uh, oh, it's win by two. So technically. Corey, off the lofty in there. Both of these that go in. Oh, off the top so of the close. second one. Corey's not impressed. Man, but that is a very difficult station to come up empty. We had a thousand dollars on the line, Jerm. Mm, I know, maybe he How many know. two for twenties will that get? Oh, you? I think five hundred. Five hundred. That's not that's oh, not true at all. Yes. That's crazy. tax and tip. Yeah, I tax and that. tip. But you're looking at least four hundred two for twenties. Four hundred. That's a lot. Top loaded over there. It's not over. It's not over. Oh, wow, that? So not even the GoPro so could keep him in. Spitskis. Oh, oh my god! Oh, both point. of them, and the yeah. only player oh to make god. one is Simon, and now that becomes huge. A double up for Simon puts him at 21. Joel is only at 19, so Simon can win this on the next station, depending on how it shakes out. Wow. I'm going to go practice my math. Coriel is up now with a very important putt. He has not come up with a name for it, so we're gonna call it the Hallway Holiday. You're clear to putt. That was beautiful. This is a big you just have to make yeah. it up. Yeah, yeah, this is a long, long, narrow hallway as That's well. That's true. Got a little tiny window to watch the action unfold here. No doubt about it. That looks great. Oh, Corey Ellis, that was good. Well, um, mm -hmm. that was cool. frozen rope the whole way. <laughs> Double up could be huge for Corey Wait, here. So the ceiling's not an issue. Oh, Corey! Oh my God! Dead in the heart of the chains, Germ. Wow, Jules, what does that get Corey up to? 16 points. He is a factor now, potentially. This will, this will be a showdown. I, I need to make that. I need to make that second one. Yeah. Oh, Calvin! That is one of the best putts Calvin has made all day long. We have not seen him miss yet. That was bullet. What is going on? It's a, it's a hallway holiday, Jerm. The hallway holiday is producing the holiday results. Uh, this could Calvin. be victory. I don't know, folks. I don't know. This one's easy, guys. Don't worry. Just gotta double up. Wow. Oh, Joel cannot oh, win. Goes Joel on. was the first to miss, coming up short. Oh no! Flopped out. It doesn't connect. Let's put it in the air the second time. Now that this deserves means to go in. I double up for Simon. Simon. In the competition. The first one goes in. This will be no problem. Then you'll have all the pressure in the already, world on you. He already has it. Yeah. It's all in Simon's hands. Oh, so close. Coming up short means the Simon's competition low. will continue. But the way this started, I thought we were going to see all eight putts made. First off, I want to say I misspoke in the last hole. Corey's double up did not bring him to 16 and indeed brought him up to 18 points. He is now tied with Simon in second place. One back of Joel at 19. Calvin at 11 points, making himself a little bit of a factor here if these guys run cold. It is his putt and he is testing out the barrel equipment. The putt 
is called Fish in a Barrel. Yeah, I mean, we see barrels of fish all over the place on Tour Germ, and this is just uh, mimicking what we see. So, Calvin. You're clear to punt. Okay, thank you. He's going Tommy Hopkins. All right. Good. Oh, I mean, mm. to make it in the doorway, the not the door. hit chains. That Ooh, off incredible. the side of the door frame, and he is a threat now. Twelve points. Okay, getting out might be difficult. A couple of salmon. I, I guess that's a fish. Salmon's yes are still. Oh, you could literally, so you can literally do that little turnover part. Yeah, I went to the turnover part. You still got the same thing. Oh, wow. Two wow. great efforts, honestly. That was a great little scuba. He's gonna try a traditional spin putt. Oh, come on. Okay, so Simon can't win. He's throwing a regular putt. Oh, wow. It, it's it's like really similar top. to the yeah, other stationary Yeah, it's almost the it same is. Putt. Uh oh, right? Simon is it's stuck in the barrel. How, how you do you make it look so <laughs> easy? <laughs> Corey, Ooh. right now, is loading himself into a barrel of opportunity to win a thousand dollars. If he doubles this up, he could inexplicably come from behind and win. He's literally so tall that this is not even affecting his putting stance. Well, I'd say it's somewhat affecting his putting stance. Yeah, you're right. He's not seven foot. <laughs> Sometimes he looks. Something like happened to the lower half of his body, Brian. <laughs> like I thought that's about the, it. I just don't the, have. That's the core I just way. don't have the. Oh, that oh. is an offer. I'm not surprised. That was an incredibly awkward standing position. Wow, one make. And it was the guy that doesn't matter. <laughs> he just if I didn't so matter that much, could you guys just let me go? Okay, Joel Freeman is going with the big money, no whammies putt. I have to be at the course in 30 minutes. Luckily, the course is only 35 minutes away. It's 15 minutes. Yeah, I know. 15. Joel, you're clear to putt. This all is right. a lot of nerves here on all both right, of these all three finale. of these guys in the grand finale. Stay off! I did the oh, same thing! The tension is high. This next part is really important. Getting to 20 makes a big difference here. Just don't miss low! Ah, oh, I oh. hate it! I hate it Simone so much. Simone leaves off. Watching that made me nervous. <laughs> Watching that. Literally, Does if I could run? just put it in the air. Then oh! I'd be fine. Simon. Like, oh, one Forget putt it. away. Oh, one putt Simon, away. do you feel the pressure? Thousand dollar putts is nothing to me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did my voice crack? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said that. Oh and no. He, like, oh, he's buckled pretty up, it's pretty uphill. It's a lot of elevation. Oh, two no! oh my gosh. Now. How close was that? Corey Ellis has two putts. 4,000 and no one can stop him. He controls his own destiny right now, Brian. I'm claiming I can't believe time. that didn't go in. I thought it was so it's in. True. He gets to decide if it's true. Oh. There wow, will be another game. station. It's okay, okay bud. Game two, goes on. Two you'll putts get, right in you'll get another chance. Wow. Corey, the low putts. This must be a very tricky putt. I did not think we would see so many putts come up short. If Callum makes two wow. now, he's kind of back in it. Not really. That puts me at 14. I could still win this. <laughs> but thank you. Technically, you're Technically, right. I'm right. Oh, I laid up. Well, that might have ended it. Ouch, guys. That's... The four foot low air ball might have ended it for Calvin. That's pain. That's painful. Just sheer pain. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Simon Lazat is going for a low ceiling putt to another elevated basket in a different location. Calling this one the... The ender. The ender. This is the end. This has got to be it. One of these guys is walking be. away. The winner right now. I'm calling it. Simon, you're clear to putt. 50 feet elevated basket. This is not a gimme by any means. But when the money's on the line and the pressure's up, that's when these guys succeed at their best. Got it. Oh. Oh, just two inches too high. I loved it. Got it. And All it's right, in. One. Well, that nice pretty much guarantees it pushing to another station. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, because that, that 20 points means that even if Corey doubles up, that will be only one point. You have to win by two. 
Just left. I'm about to speed it. I'm about to speed it. Right. Speed it. Speed it. Speed it. Speed it. Oh, just stacks them up. Oh, not too bad. Speed Pretty putt. easy. Just, just got a speed putt, you know, because. Wow, that's like not even close to the basket. No. I was well, off on my prediction. That that sticks. Sticks. Make it in. However, we have two players at 20, one at 19, and now Calvin doubling up. We are at Ender Part 2 Station, Corey Ellis's putt. He is at 19, trailing the others two by one point. We're both at 20. Corey, you're clear, but. He's got to double up here. The other two have to just make one putt. Just, just dragging on a little bit. I think that station okay, right there, that should have been the one. Yeah. At least I don't have a press conference this to get to. This basket to wants like no business with our discs. Yeah, there's a make though. And he makes one. Good putt. And he makes one. This could be the three-way playoff. And Heidberg, if he doubles up, he gets the eight. You're the yeah, sickest. Okay. No, I Very wanted you to make that so bad. Could you even imagine? This is such a late stretch comeback that he's putting on right now. Oh, oh my. So you could end it. You can end it. If I make both. Yeah, if you make both. And this uh oh, gets there it is. One. You go to 21. You have to yeah. win by two. You, yeah, if okay. you make both, you get it. Okay. It's yours. Is the opportunity here for Simon? Double. We went in high. Isn't gonna happen here. There it is. But he's in at 21. Right, one so I'm eliminated. That one first one was nervy. That means the competition will continue. The Ender part trace. Joel Freeman edition. You're clear to putt. All right. Through a window, through a door, elevated basket. This is no tricky. This is no easy right. 30 footer. Three men standing. This is still got to win by two. Oh my god. He goes over the door actually instead of through it. Second putt is in. Clean, There's dude. one. Nice putt. Nice putt. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Simon makes both, he wins. Yes. Nothing Corey could do about that. Oh. Actually, that's. Oh, the GoPro. Oh, wow, so. Corey has a chance to take the lead by one. <sighs> Corey goes low ceiling, low ceiling, low ceiling. Can he double up? There he, oh, oh my God. God. Just misses low and it's back to wow. an even game. 22, okay. 21. 21. The Ender, part quat. Simon edition. Cleared putt. So Simon can make both of these. Clean. Oh, he can certainly make one of them. What a putt. Yeah, there you go. Quickly. Nice he did work. it. He did it. Now the pressure is definitely Still in on it. Corey here, tied with Simon going into the station. And and miss. Is, that's it for, for Corey. The go. only person who has any say right now is Joel, who was our current leader, but now he's trailing by two. He needs one to continue the playoff, two to keep the lead. Sit. Wow. If he misses, Simon wins. But the continued playoff will commence as Corey has been eliminated. Okay, we are back to Joel going first. The ender part Just, sink. You can stand anywhere. Just okay, they decided, okay. now that we got rid of Corey, we're gonna make it even harder to finish this thing. But Simon with a one point lead. I can't even see anything. Joel's gonna need to double up if he wants to take that lead back. Sam, or uh, Joel, whoever it is, you're cleared putt. Doubling up here would just be one of the sickest, sicko things you could do. Oh, okay. Really good effort. Go. Oh, oh just Joel off the GoPro. camera. The GoPro. The GoPro? Yeah, I, just, I just drilled the just GoPro. Just needs one. All right, so here, I gotta make one, right? Yep. I gotta make one. One will do it. One will do it. 
It done did him. If all those trick shots he's done in the past were for anything, they're for these thousand dollars and he it. hits it! Game over, folks. <laughs> Hallelujah. Boom a clap. Wow. That was exhausting. That ends the competition. Simon with Shout one putt from 55, 60 feet through a wow. gap up nice on throw. top of the elevated basket. Wow. Okay. Pure putt right in the center. Coming from behind, Joel had a big lead early on. And if you remember, Simon was held to zero points for much of the early competition. Simon, you have been a frequent guest here in the Joe Mess Pro Putting Competition. Yeah. Your first introduction to this was last year here in Stockton at the OTB Warehouse, and you won. Yeah. And you won last year in Vermont, and now you've won for your third time. This time, it's for the big bucks, $1,000. How does it feel? It was a crazy four and a half hours here. It was a, the sickest venue I think we've ever had for the putting game. And I don't know why my putting stats on the court, course don't reflect my <laughs> stats in the putting game. Uh, maybe I gotta just uh, get more creative on the putting green on the course. Well, thank you to all of our guests today. Thank you to our co-host and all the people that were helping out making this a reality here. It has been a pleasure bringing you the putting game from the CQB here in Stockton, California. We'll see you guys next time at the Joe Mess Pro Putting Game. Thanks for watching The Putting Game on Joe Mess Pro. Tune in next week where Eric Oakley, Chandler Fry, Chris Clemens, and James Conrad face off at Hopworks Brewing in Portland, Oregon. Okay.